This video explains how to add an empty column to a pandas data frame in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a first step for this video, we need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example data frame, as you can see in the second code box, using the data frame constructor. So first we are creating a new data frame called data, and then we are printing this data frame below the code box. So as you can see, our new data frame contains seven rows and the three columns x1, x2, and x3. And now let's assume that we want to add an additional column to this data frame, which is empty. So if we want to do that, we can use the code that you can see in the third code box. So as a first step, I'm creating a copy of our data frame because I also want to keep an original version of our input data frame. And I'm calling this copy data new one. And then I'm specifying that I want to create a new column in this new data frame, which is called new col. And I'm setting this column to be equal to an empty character string. So after running these lines of code, our new data frame is printed below the code box. And as you can see, this new data frame contains exactly the same values as our first input data frame. However, this data frame also contains an additional column, which is called new col. And this column contains empty character strings. So in this first example, I have explained how to create an empty column which contains empty character strings. However, it's also possible to create a new column which contains only NAN values. And this is what I want to show you in the second example. So this second example is shown in the fourth code box. And as you can see in the first line of this box, I'm once again using the copy function to create a copy of our data set. And I'm calling this data set copy data new two. And then, as in the previous example, I'm using this new data set to create a new column called new col. And this time I'm setting this new column equal to NAN, which is inserted within the float function. So after running these two lines of code, a new data set is created called data new2. And we can print this data set below the code box using the print function. And now you can see that this data frame also contains the same values as our input data frame and an additional column, which is called new col. And this new column contains only NAN values. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.